Amelia Gagne is hitting the mark. I just shot four different targets at four different distances and each target we recorded what we shot and then and I got the higher score. <laughs> Good enough for the 20 year old to qualify for the gold medal round against athletes from 29 different countries at the World Archery Field Championships. And this local club has been aiming to host the event for years. In 2014, we were the first club in Canada to host all three events for the Nationals. We did such a good job there that they said, you know, if you guys put in another bid for field, you're, you have a good chance of getting it. So we did. And here we are today. And this northern Alberta hamlet is on point with archery in a big way. This community is incredible. We have only 2,700 people in our community. Some of these cities that are hosting these events have hundreds of thousands of people. They didn't think we had a chance, but I always say it's not the amount of hearts you have, it's the size of heart. The facilities are expansive, but another big thing has people here talking. Yeah, there's a big arrow for the World Field Championships. It's the largest arrow. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. I didn't expect it at all. <laughs> uh, lots of people like it. They've never seen anything like it before. Everybody asks, when are we building a bow? But uh, first, we're going to start off with this. Welder and former archer Josh Hattam wanted to do something to help his coach aim high. But at 24 meters long, is it really the largest in the world? Yes, it is. We crushed the record, so by 40 feet. The giant arrow helping to hit the bullseye for the whole world to see. Archery has always been a passion. You know, I've been president here for almost 30 years, and I'm going to be 70 here in two days. So this is a, a, a great birthday present for me to have all these countries come and celebrate. And inspiring the next generation of top-notch talent. I can't really explain it. It's just like a lot of emotion. <laughs> it's just going to show that all my hard work has like paid off. Adrian Lamb, CBC News, Lac La Biche, Alberta.